Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to simulate a three-phase AC-DC converter. What is AC-DC converter? AC-DC converter is basically known as a rectifier with a circuit which converts an AC voltage into a pulsing DC voltage yet using both half cycles of the applied AC voltage. It uses diodes of which one half contacts during one half cycle, while the other contacts during the other half cycle of the applied AC voltage. Let's go to the simulating to visualize this definition and to verify this simulation. We are going to simulate using MATLAB simulating. To do that, we have to insert the different block necessary for the simulation, taking into account AC voltage, diet, voltage measurement, current measurement, scope to visualize the result. Let's go to, to the library for inserting the different blocks. Clicking on library browser. The first step is the AC voltage. Clicking on AC voltage, voltage, enter. So this is the AC voltage block. Click right and click add to the block. This is the AC voltage. So to simulate three phase AC voltage, we have to insert three AC voltage like this. So firstly, let's rotate this block with control R and we can also copy, copy past this block by clicking on control and copy this this block. This is a three phase sources. We will connect between these three single phases, but we have also two to parameter and to fix the units and the different parameter of the AC voltage to specify a three-phase AC voltage. A three-phase AC voltage, equilibrium AC voltage, need to have the same peak amplitude and the different value of the phase. The first phase is at zero degree, the second phase is 120 degree, and the second phase is 240 degree. This is the first one with a peak, peak amplitude of 100, okay? The second one with 120 phase, and the third one with 240 phase, and with a frequency of 6, 16, 16. Okay, after that, we have to insert the diet for the conversion. Let's look for the diet with diet block, clicking on diet. So this is the diet, we are going to work this, this diet, click right and click add to, to the block. Control right for to rotate, control R, okay. And we can copy paste this, this block by clicking and we can copy like this and also to make six, voila, six diet. Okay, let's connect between this diet, the first one, second one, the third one, also between this diet in the front front part, in the back part of the diet. The first phase will be connected with the first one, with the second one, and with the third one. Okay, for the load, we are going to insert a RLC branch we can just work with uh, a resistive load this is RLC RLC click ctrl R double click and select just in the branch type just R with a value for example of, of five five ohms and click OK we, we need also to insert Measurement equipment like current measurement. Click enter. This is the current measurement. Click right, click add to the block. Okay, we are going to connect this current measurement in series. 
with the load and we need also the voltage measurement okay this is the voltage measurement which has to be connected in parallel we have to connect this in parallel with the output of the of the load we can also insert a block which is called mean mean block which can calculate the average value of the output voltage so this is the mean block click right click add this block will be connected in series with the voltage measurement and finally we have to insert a sink a scope to visualize to visualize the result not that sorry click right add to block this is the block we can uh, insert this block with just one port we can add a lot of ports like input three inputs three inputs this is a three inputs the first one for for example for the AC voltage for the source let's connect the source with with a single phase and we connect with the scope the second with the current and the third with the output voltage and we can also insert a display to look and to visualize the output value of the voltage a necessary block that we have to insert is the power Q block it's an important block to make the simulation without space this one click right click add to the block okay so the resistance is okay the scope is okay so we can now start simulation so this is the AC voltage for, for the second single phase is 100 volt and the output of output voltage is about 163 volt okay for the simulation and for the, for the chip of the output value this is the scope let's just seek a small portion to clearly visualize the output so in uh, yellow chip this is the input this is the ec voltage a single phase ec voltage between two phase between two phase this one this one is the output voltage and this one blue is the output current so using the three phase we can get a very converted output current and voltage from AC to, to DC.